Hey everyone. Few days ago, I bought an RGB LED strip from Amazon. And it was no ordinary RGB LED strip. In this LED strip, there's an exotic IC soldered with RGB LED. WS2812. Which is an addressable LED IC. In simple words, we can control each RGB LED by using only one digital pin. These IC can be found in many packages but the most common and popular are these two. Well, let's get started but first, play the intro. And hit that subscribe button. Please. Yeah, 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 yeah. The star of this project is the Arduino Nano that I'm using to control the strip LED. Nano have a voltage regulator which can protect it from voltage greater than 12 volts. I can power it from the same battery that I'm using for powering the LED strip. Anyways, so my plan is to cut 4 pieces from this roll. Each piece have 3 RGB LEDs soldered with a single WS2812 IC. And that's plenty for our minimal RGB lamp. These RGB strip have 3 LED in series each of around 3 volts. So, in order to power the LED strip, we gonna need a 12 volts 2 ampere power supply. I'm just using my Frankenstein battery pack which consists of 6 lipo cell, 2 connected in parallel and 3 connected in series which makes 11.4 volts and 4400 mAh. But you can use an 12 volt adapter instead. Connect the strip LED in this manner. Remember this, the first LED strip which you have connected your Arduino will be the main strip or starting point for the signal. Connect the D out of the first LED strip with D in of second LED strip, and then repeat this order. After this, Connect the ground of all the LED strip together and do same for VCC of the LED strip. Connect the ground of LED strip with ground of Arduino, and then add an external power supply to the VCC and ground of LED strip. And we're done with wiring. I have made this 3D design in SolidWorks and then 3D printed it. If you want to download its file, I'll leave the download link in video description. But of course you can make this lamp from wood or any plastic sheet. Let's skip the build process and look at the code first. Here's the code. This code uses fast LED library so first download it from library manager. You have to specify the number of LED that you are using. In my case, I'm using 4 LED. You can download this code from the Hackster link which is in video description. It contains everything which you need to build this project. Now put everything together and upload the sketch to the microcontroller and bang. We have made a DIY RGB LED lamp with addressable LED strip. We can add an ESP to this project in order to control this lamp with internet but that's a topic for another video. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button. Peace out.